Sir, sir, it also depends upon whether the variable is locally declared or global declared, no, sir. Ah, yes, that uh, that depends upon. He is saying that he is about extern. He is asking about extern. Uh, yes, sir. If variable is globally declared, then if we use extern, then it will be zero, right? Yes. If the variable if the variable is declared local and then we use external, then it will print the garbage value. No, no. Extern we are going to use to take the variable of outside outside function. So extern extern keyword to take the, we we die we we not we will not you're going to use a regular way to use a extern. And a extern and a keyword manamo normal way use same. We are going to use a extern keyword to use any other variable of other function or variable of other program. So that the case we are going to use extern. The work of extern is just to uh, uh, that uh, read the value which was uh, I mean uh, define in, uh, define in other other functions. program or other yeah. function. Yeah. So if the other function contains garbage value, then this function also should contain garbage value, right? But but other function can uh, uh, can only if at all if you want to use that variable that that variable should be declared globally to that function or globally to the program until unless we cannot uh, access that particular uh, 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 what is a particular variable if you declare a locally to the particular uh, uh, program or locally to the program or locally to the function we cannot access that particular variable using extern we have to uh, declare that as a global only okay sir uh, that means we cannot uh, we cannot use local variables for extern right yes local variables cannot cannot be done uh, extern okay sir fine uh, see here, the extern external storage class is used to tell the compiler that the variable is defined as extern is declared with a, an external linkage elsewhere in the program. That is, we are going to take the uh, variable, we are going to access the variable, which is somewhere, which is, is there in the somewhere or elsewhere in the program. We want to use that particular variable. In that case, we are going to use a, a storage class called external. Okay, the keyword for external is extern. E X T E R N only extern up to N, not L A N. We are going to remove A L for uh, writing a keyword. And the variable declared as extern are not allocated any memory. So the variable which is declared, so not allocated any memory. So that is the uh, one of the other. So whenever we declare in the variable, so for example, there is a program called Entamadana. Uh, uh, okay. So there's a program called, uh, let's take, this is uh, 1.c and other program called 2.c. So whereas I have declared a variable, some variable X in the 2.c, remember, I've declared a variable to, uh, X in the 2.c as a global variable, a global variable. And uh, just in that 2.c, the X variable will be allocated memory. But if you want to use that variable as it is in the one dot C, you just use extern dot extern uh, int space X and the variable will uh, variable memory will not be allocated here. And remember, both programs should be executed at a time. Remember, both programs should be executed at a time. <clears throat> both programs should be executed at a time. In that case only, we can use that. And the default initial value of extern integral type is zero, otherwise it's none. And we can only initialize the extern variable globally. That's it. See, extern uh, uh, variable, extern variable globally. And we cannot initialize the extern variable within any block of method. The same question you asked. The, we can only initialize the extern variable globally. That is, we cannot initialize the extern variable within any block or method. An extern, external variable can be declared many times, but can be initialized only one, at once. So declared many times, but only initialized is once. So that should, that should be initialized only if you are using in the same program, in the same program, somewhere in the program, you can uh, like initialize only one time, but you can declare, um, like you can declare uh, as it is. You, if you want to declare any time, you can declare it. 
and if a variable is declared as external then the compiler searches for that variable to be initialized somewhere in the program remember and which may be external or a static if it is not then the compiler will show an error see we see we will see the examples uh, the example first example so what is the first example tells you that so whether extern should be like locally declared or globally declared so here uh, the extern int a is declared locally and asking undefined reference to a so that is what is the error we are getting because it is declared globally so we sorry locally we should declare it as a global only we should take it as only a, a global variable we should not take it as a local variable and other example <coughs> So variable is defined globally. The memory will not be allocated to A. So which is like int A is already defined globally, globally. And here, which is A, int A is extern A is declared here. But whether we want to see whether we want to see whether a value is assigned some uh, uh, send or so check the values is we are printing printf percentile A. So thereby what happened? So it is like saying that it's zero. So that. No memory will be allocated. And uh, once this has been allocated, value is allocated, the value will be shown. Sir, what Next. if lifetime of the outside variable is uh, like throughout the program? Overlapping. Throughout the program. Throughout the program. We'll discuss that. Throughout the program. So extern int a, extern int a. So that is variable is defined globally. The memory will not be allocated to a. And next. Other variable which is declared globally, this is a variable. So I'm linking that into inside of extern int a equal to zero. So this will show the compiler error since we cannot use extern and initialize that at the same time. So extern use chc initialization manu chalem. We cannot use, we cannot do that. If you want to initialize any variable, you initialize here, here in the uh, globally. Here, here it is in the uh, like. Uh, globally, but we cannot use the initialization with the extern keyword. Extern keyword. Okay. Done. So, what is the error we are getting? Compile time error, uh, main in function, uh, main. So, what is the error? So, A has both extern and initializer. We cannot use that. So, we cannot do that. Okay. Next. So extern int a, a compiler will search for here. So that is like here where the variable is defined and initialized somewhere in the program or not. So we have we have taken extern int a, but whether it has been already defined somewhere or not. So we are going to check for that. So that is the compiler where it is going to search. So which is which should be which should be declared already somewhere in the program or which should be initialized somewhere in the uh, in other programmers. Next, extern int a, so int a equal to 10. Uh, like uh, where I've used this variable int a equal to 10. So I'm going to print uh, int a equal to 20. The compiler will show an error at this line. Why? So what is the reason which is like already uh, taken a is equal to 20 in the previous case, previous case, and I, again, I'm initializing 10 here. So that's the reason. So it is going to show a compiler error. Okay, so this is the overall uh, uh, story about your uh, uh, storage classes. Story about your storage classes. First story class is auto, and the where the storage place memory will be allocated in the RAM. So where it has been the stack in the stack memory. Remember, it is in the stack memory, and the default value is a garbage value. But the default value is a garbage value. The scope scope of a particular variable is local local variable that is what is the scope the accessibility of particular variable to be access to the local and the lifetime is within the function so within the function and within the block where it has been declared next one is extern so this that's now we have discussed uh, external is also storage places the memory is stored in the ram and it has been stored in the uh, particular uh, where uh, uh, particular memory is allocated uh, next the default value is uh, zero and the the scope of uh, variable is global scope and till end of the main program may be declared anywhere in the uh, program so the lifetime is till end of the program till end of the uh, main program till end of the main program which is where it has been declared may be declared anywhere in the program and the static so if it is, we are going with the static 
So static storage class will be stored in the uh, RAM and particularly where so where in the particular storage is allocated for it and uh, default value is zero and the scope of a variable a scope of what is the variable which is declared as static is the local scope but its lifetime is different the lifetime is till end of the program main program uh, retains a value between the multiple function calls so it will be stored in the memory only it will not be deleted the memory will not be deleted once we come out of the function. Where is in the uh, where is in the auto? So once we exit exit out of the function, so the uh, values which is allocated for variables which is allocated were for that will be uh, deleted or deallocated. Whereas here, so here it will not be deallocated, not deleted. So that is the register. So register where the memory will be stored in the registers of uh, processor. And the, what is the default value? The garbage value, and the scope is a local scope and the lifetime is within the function or within the block. So this is about the storage classes. Okay. Any doubts up to now? Okay. Any others in the class? Sir, once can you show a program related to Excel? Which program? Program related to Excel, sir. Once, oh. like, can you display it? Sir, if we give uh, uh, like here, it is not declared global, you know, sir. In a yes, that's the reason it is given undefined reference to a. Okay, okay. Sir, if we give globally in a in main function, we should not give as int b or something as sir. It should be only in a. Yes, extend. If you want to use the same variable inside that, you have to use extend. So, however, so remember. However, extend is used. For example, the example where is this one? Int a. Again, I'm using int, int extend int a. There is no uh, like usage, like there is no like uh, meaning of this because once I declared int a, is it globally? Globally, I can use int a anywhere in the program. Anywhere in the program. This is to show only the example. For example, so there is a, um, let me tell you. So let's take this is an example. Uh, this this is a program one, program one dot c, program one dot c. I'm not defined this a here in the a here. So for example, I've taken program two dot c. In this, I've defined I should include stdio dot h, and here I've defined int a equal to fifty or something, and int main and some program goes on. So if you want to use this variable A hey, here in this program, so we are going to use extend int A. Extend int A. Now I'll get output as 50. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. sir mm, tell me. Sir, those uh, two programs should be executed. Uh, under time. execution. Both, are, both should be under execution. So literally, which is not... Uh, Oh, uh, like uh, what do you say? Uh, that that will be possible only if at all if you have if you have used as uh, like header file. This program should be used as header file. Both should be under execution. So how can we write uh, program two dot three as a header file for uh, program one dot three? Execute this program and add as a header file to this. So 
Sir, last time I tried adding .c files as header files, it did not work. Uh, it is did not work because like both should be in the uh, execution state. So the, the reason we have to make this is .x file. The .c file will not be actually will not be taken as once it has been uh, like object file. Once it has been created object file, so it has been taken into con uh, consideration. But so therefore we have to be there. Like both should be in the execution state. That means we have to make execution for both things and we have to try out. I'll tell you how to do it. But uh, extend is like some, uh, uh, it is only the uh, technicality. What do you say? Uh, th theoretically, it is proven, but it's practically, it is not uh, used anywhere. So we won't see that extend keyword we are using in the program. 99% we won't see in the programs anywhere, anywhere, like any, any C program you take it, uh, we are going, we are not, be, we'll not be seeing that extend uh, keyword to be used in the program. This is only theoretically told, but no one has tried for the uh, like, uh, practically to be uh, executed, but that will be possible only both if at all server and client systems are running both at a time. You can use that. For example, one program is running in the client, one program is running in the server. So that can be possible. If at all both are running at a time, that can be possible. So in that case, we have to run, we have to use a message pipes or some uh, medium to connect both uh, use both things. So uh, RMI or R RPS, RPC, uh, RPC can be used to connect both things. So these are the methods. So these are the methods to be used to connect uh, client and server systems. What's in the time limit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time yes, sir. limit is upgraded and unlimited. Upgraded and achieved. Unlimited and achieved. Okay, unlimited and achieved. Okay. Okay, this is about the storage classes. Don't think in the deeper way. So storage classes are only the required to understand like how it will be using. I've given like uh, other uh, set of things in the program type qualifier that there is a heading called type qualifier in the notes. So we have already seen two type qualifiers. What is a size type qualifier and uh, uh, a sign type qualifier for the data type. So what is the uh, qualifiers type qualifier says? They'll be adding some uh, qualification to your data type some qualification to your data type. So already we have seen sign qualifier and size qualifier. What is the science sign qualifier we've seen? That is unsigned and signed int, unsigned int or signed int. So we are going to add unsigned and signed. So unsigned means, so we're going to only have a negative values to uh, uh, your data type. And uh, size qualifies, size qualifier is, uh, that is uh, long and short. So short will make your uh, data type to be short, uh, made to be short, uh, decrease uh, their uh, regular size and long will be increase the data size, data type size. So likewise, we have other three uh, qualifiers, const qualifier, volatile qualifier and restrict qualifier. Okay, a const qualifier. So I'll show that. Is the screen visible? No, sir. It is visible, sir, but only register pages. Okay. Register is visible, So other than this two sign qualifiers and size, uh, size qualifiers, we have const uh, type qualifier and volatile type qualifier and restrict type qualifier. So where uh, const type qualifier makes your uh, variable as a constant. So once we have declared, once we have declared with a const variable, const uh, uh, keyword, once we declared with a const keyword, 
So that data type becomes the data type becomes a constant value. We cannot change this phi value in, in between the program. So that is about a const qualifier. So keyword, the keyword for the const qualifier is a const. A constant variable is only a read-only variable. So that means we can only use in the program. We cannot change anywhere in the program. So that is about a const variable. And the volatile variable is like uh, it is like a volatile qualifier tells the compiler that variable may be changed by the entire uh, other than the program, other than this program, such variable declared for sorting and updating the date needs to be changed externally according to the system. For example, e program lo kaagunda, the same variable you want to change somewhere. So same variable has to be changed by other other external uh, force force with the particular variable. We are going to use the volatile qualifier. And then the mana program lo unna variable ni mana program lo manipulate cheye kunda. We are using some other external force to be changed. That thing is called as that volatile, that uh, type qualifier is called as volatile. So that example is uh, your date. So date will be updated according to your date of uh, time date. Once a date of time is uh, uh, a time or a system time is changed, it automatically changes with the other variable. So that is like volatile and a restrict, which is not there in your syllabus. This is not there in your syllabus. This is for you only the understanding purpose therefore knowledge purpose this is uh, uh, obviously uh, the total qualifiers are not there in the pro in your syllabus but for your understanding i'm telling so restrict type qualifier is to restrict we are going to restrict the particular variable to not to uh, do anything like the restrict uh, qualifier which is used only with the pointers remember this only used with the pointers i'll tell you what is this pointer indicates that the pointer is only initialized the way access the dereference the data and it is provided more than uh, more help to the compiler for optimization. Let us look how the program segment works. For example, here int star PTR. I've declared a PTR. This is a pointer declaration. This is a variable declaration, normal variable declaration. And this is how to assign a uh, address of the pointer. So this is a one statement. So I'm assigning the address of A. So ampersand A is make, making that assigning address of A to be PTR. I'm storing the address of A to B in the PTR. So now, uh, where a PTR is pointed to the variable A, now the pointer is, uh, this pointer is used to point out the A. Now I'm updating the pointer by using this variable by using a pointer. So I'm updating the values which is there at the address of A by using this pointer, a pointer plus is equal to four, pointer plus is equal to five. So that means what is that pointer is updated to four, uh, that is pointer is equal, pointer plus is equal to four means pointer is equal to pointer plus four. That means I'm updating a value to four. Now, next I'm updating value to five. So both are indirectly, I'm updating to four and updating five. So both indirectly I can access, I can say it is updating to nine. Uh, after at last, I'll get only what is the value by you, these two statements, pointer is updated to first, it is updated to four. Let's take it is uh, a equal to one, a equal to zero on Kuna, a equal to zero value on First to zero plus four, what is zero plus four? The value is four, after that, the, uh, 4 plus 5, this is 9. So at last I'm updating to the 9. So now here a compiler cannot replace, replace the statement pointer plus, plus 4, pointer plus 5 with a 9 because it might not know that the A is only pointed by A is only pointed by this pointer. The compiler doesn't understand that, that doesn't know that the, uh, because uh, pointer is only, only uh, pointing to this variable. We don't know. So, but if I make a restrict int star PTR and I'm assigning a variable pointer A, now the pointer, uh, this pointer is to restrict to a point only this variable, point only to one variable. So point only to the particular variable, this to particular restrict to this particular variable. Now the pointer, the uh, if I'm writing the same statement for star PTR plus is equal four, star PTR is equal to five, the pointer compiler directly replaces the two segments into one segment that start PTR plus nine because it shows that the variable A cannot be accessed through any other resource because of this only the pointer to use to access this point A. I've restricted to be one, one variable to be integer pointer and only one variable in the program. So now I'm restricted and I'm saying that only this can be accessed by using therefore. So therefore, Compile understands, okay, this variable A cannot be accessed through any other pointer. So therefore, I can make this change to, instead of writing two statements, two statements, I can change it to one statement. That is, 
star PTR plus nine is equal to PTR is equal to nine. It automatically changes. This is only advantage. Advantage for the compiler, advantage for the program, not advantage for the programmer. This is advantage for the compiler. Okay, this is only for qualifiers as to modify your types. Types your cut behavior ne modify chedang kosam to change the behavior of a type. That is type here. What is a type here? Data type. So to modify the behavior of data type, we are going to use a type qualifiers. Other than these three type qualifiers, we have already seen two type qualifiers: size type qualifier and uh, sign type sign type qualifier. Size type qualifiers tells you what is the size of the. So what is to change? Modify the size of the data type. That is, we have seen long short. Sign type qualifiers are again two. That is unsigned and signed. Unsigned means negative or that is positive. We only use the positive values with the data type of values of data type and sun, uh, unsigned means we can use both a negative and sir, signed means we can use both a negative as positive. So that is the advantage we have seen. What is unsigned? What is the advantage of using only unsigned? If at all you have only positive values to be used in the program, for example, height, weight, that will be only for positive values. So it will not be in the negative values, height values and negative uh, weight values will not. example I'm telling. So if you can you go use go and use with your unsigned, so it will not be like uh, we are going to increase double the size of the uh, uh, the what is the range value of the given data type. So that is an advantage of uh, using that size and type, so size and uh, sign. So like uh, we have constant volatile and drastic, like those two have. Okay. That is about type qualifiers. Okay, we have done with the functions. If you have any doubts in the functions, we can ask me. Sir, what is the difference between uh, const variable declaration and hashtag defined declaration? Uh, const is directly you're making that is a variable to be a variable to be constant variable. We cannot modify in the program, whereas Whereas as defined replaces the only the value, either it is a data type, which data type we may not know. Dan Grunch Manak Ausran Lid, a data type value man use no, man two dollars now as defined use chest. Can you cut a constant matram a data type of Kachanga Manak We need to know that particular variable, which type, which data type of value, variable value are going to use. That is the difference. So hash type define Vadaka Putana better. Hmm. Adi means manistam adi based upon your your requirement, your program requirement as you wish. Can you get like general good? Hmm. General yeah. good practice. As defined can be used. Remember, as defined can be used for not only for a variable. It can be made for your functions also. Functions to kora use chhe. Adi ne tarat chhe. The command uh, uh, line arguments lo. And uh, this is pre-processor uh, directors pre-processor director I'll tell you what is this uh, how as defined is one of uh, one of the useful to make your functions. So when functions would have manipulated chess coach, you you make it as functions to be manipulated with the as defined. Okay, but whereas const is used only with our variables, that is uh, data types. Okay. Hmm. If you have, if you have a time, you can check out with the pre-processor directories. The heading is pre-processor directories. Okay. Any doubts in the functions? Anyone? Any doubts in the functions? We have completed with the chapter, whole chapter of functions. So if at all, if you have any doubts, you can recall yourself and read it. And in the next Friday, I'm going to have a exam that is multiple choice exam, not the theory exam, multiple choice exam on the functions. Okay. Okay. On the Friday, next Friday. This is today is the Friday. 
on the next spread if it is offline i'll 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 keeping i'll be keeping offline if it is online i'll be keeping online that is we are, we are still in the online mode so i'll be keeping online or if it's, if it's still in the off uh, if it all if it is offline we are going to go for offline exam but it will be multiple choice exam okay done so take a five minute break come back so we'll discuss uh, sir when will be minds what is minds mids uh, okay so we don't know uh, don't know about mids mids may be uh, like extended because the date may be extended actually as per time uh, as per time table which has been um, almanac given so that is 30 as per um, uh, given the 31st to second third i think and for, for third but it may be it may be extended okay sir okka week ana minimum extend aitadu sir ha aitadu kachithanga aitadu and because i'm 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 forcing because I, it may be like up to rs may be the examination so we are not like remember uh, mid exam paper will not be set by me mid, mid exam paper will be set by a whole college someone will be choose from a someone college so based upon uh, which syllabus is given for mid that up to that exam will be there that's the reason i'm running faster okay faster and good but we have lagging behind all our started strings also some aids two aids one is started strings also well strings could start just strings low owner so man, at least if irs could start check pote so waste like inka chala lag low not to man and the strings and the for irs it will make it may be taking two weeks of time but we are lagging behind two weeks of two weeks of time sir where can we get the syllabus uh in the a uh, aos that is in this website you, you check website ae uh, that is aec ya uh, aec uh, aec lo aec website uh, aec lo you go and check for the link for aec so in that will be finding a link called syllabus already nan chupichan anukunta no sir for the mids for the mids only that's like okay i'll show the so go and ac and ceo click on this link and click on the syllabus in this ads 71 and 72 and check for this pps so up to two and a half units up to two and a half units means up to the this which is have selected up to this okay sir any syllabus is missing in, in our uh, like work mo cheppana antle evana miss ayinda computer components of the computer operating system compiler program development environment steps to solve the programs uh, algorithm steps to solve the program tells uh, problems problems antle telusu kada algorithms flow charts pseudo code with examples program lang programming languages and generations categorizations of high level language introduction structure of c program keywords identifiers variables constants io statements operations operators precedence associativity selective looping and nested statements 
and introduction, use of functions, function definition, and declaration, passing parameters to function, recursion, scope of variables and storage classes, case study using functions and control statement. This has to be done by you, sir. So as a assignment is done, you have to do this. So case study using functions and control statements, you have to keep. So next we are going to go for RS. Okay. RS introduction, declaration of RS. So axing of storage of RS elements and one dimensional RS. Searching, selection, label, binary search and sorting, selection, bubble sort algorithm, 2D RS matrix operations. This will take two weeks of time. Sir, fuzzy sir, chatla implement just taro. Ande? Fuzzy sir, fuzzy search. Fuzzy. Yeah, fuzzy search. Fuzzy search. Fuzzy search. Uh, fuzzy search. Uh, I have to see now. Fuzzy search is about a data structure. I think data structure. One of the data structure type. Fuzzy search and a layer of searching techniques from one of more searching techniques. I got binary, linear, and hash as searching techniques. We have now got the fuzzy search for the syllabus. Love and gentle card. Ah, syllabus. Love and normal. Gonna chop the none. Searching techniques are maximum. Which searching technique is ashing after that is binary, after that is linear. Fuzzy search like in text. Fuzzy logic and fuzzy searching. I'm listening first time. I'll see the fuzzy search and fuzzy logic belongs to your uh, math, uh, machine learning type, type of techniques, I think. Uh, yes. Chudam, Adi Taravad Chudam, you put on a syllabus loan. Suppose when I'm include and search as a mante, it will also bring up uh, include, uh, included uh, in. Like different forms, diff like concham similar or na, it will bring up the search. Mm -hmm. Okay. The meaning of fuzzy itself that so under fuzzy under like it's like uh, un unordered like type of things. Exactly. Hmm. I Okay, so take five minutes time and be here. Don't log out and come back. So I'll be starting the class by 11, uh, 15, sorry, 11, 10, not 11, 15, 11, 10. Okay, welcome back. Yes, are you back? Everyone is back? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So we are going to discuss a new concept called um, Aris. So what exactly Aris and everything we'll see. So whether the screen is visible? Yes, sir. Okay. So I have a three variables to be uh, uh, int a comma b comma c. So I've declared it. Three variables are there. Now, in my program, in my program. I want to store the marks of a student, one student. Marks of a one student. So I'm storing that by using a int m1. 
so marks one done i want to store a six one subject marks of six students okay m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 i have stored six student marks now but whereas in uh, there is a, a uh, pps subject called pps i want to store a marks of pps students so so pps uh, subject of a six students done but if i want to store a 60 students should i write m1 m6 m6 m7 m8 m9 m10 and so on m20 m30 m30 m60 like that i should write like the same way is the right way to write only declaration of variables uh, takes me uh, at least 20 lines of declaration or not 20 15 lines of declaration will be taking taking down and time is also taking much taking much is that right so here i can do this to declare three variables is okay six variables is okay and up to seven eight variables is okay nine variables okay ten variables is also uh, long but as whereas whereas 60 if i want to store the variables for 60 members that is like variables of marks for 60 members so i'm going to write 60 variables throughout my program is that the right correct answer correct way to do that no it is not correct way to do that there is a solution for it there is a solution for it the solution itself is a arrays it is not array it is not array it is array okay don't say array so it is array okay array is the one of the solution to make this much program to decrease to one statement see that i'm i'm going to decrease that one statement how i'm going to decrease int m of 60 done i have created 60 variables now i have created 60 variables those 60 variables just to to store the student marks student marks <clears throat> see there are 15 lines of code i have replaced it with only one line is that very very uh, innovative is that very good to do that yes yes so in, instead of writing these many variables this many times this many times it is replaced all this code into one line this is very 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 easy that is if i'm writing the same thing called int m of 60 i'm going to create i'm going to create in the memory 60 variables what are those variables m of 0 m of 1 m of 2 and so on and so on m of 59 because i've started with a zero so total 60 variables are created starting with m of 0 m of 1 m of 2 m of 3 m of 4 m of 5 and so on m of 59 so once i write this statement once i write this statement in the memory in the memory in the memory all these variables are created with a name m of 0 m of 1 m of 2 m of 3 m of 4 and so on m of 59 total 60 variables are created 60 variables are created whereas 60 variables are created so here when i write when i write int when i write int a comma b comma c how the variables are created same way three variables are created in the memory a variable b variable c variable whereas here same way this when i write the same statement m of 60 60 variables are created in the memory with the names what is it what is the name of this variable a what is this variable b what is this variable name c likewise they now the name of this variable is m of 0 the name of this variable is m of 1 
the name of this variable is m of 2 the name of this variable is m of 3 the name of variable is m of 4 and so on last variable is m of 59 m of 59 these are the variable names see it is very very easy to write so what is an array so what is exactly an array so by seeing this i'm telling array so array a is a collection of collection of data values of same type at one place what is an array else you can directly say array is a collection of similar data type or collection of variables of similar data type array is a collection of data values array is a collection of data values of same type at one place or else array is a collection of variables of similar data type collection of variables of similar data type remember so when i write int m of 60 all m this 60 variables of which type int type so if i want to store the store the data of store the data of marks marks of 60 students marks are obviously which type of data integer type therefore int of m of or marks of 60 so therefore how many variables are created 60 variables are created with which type all are all 60 are which type all 60 are same type and they are created at one place as i said so when i draw the diagram when i draw the diagram all are created at one place only so this is m of 0 m of 1 m of Two and so on. M of fifty nine. So every year, all the variables are created one place. That is, they are created consecutive, consecutive memory locations, or else successive. memory locations okay so they are created side by side that means the immediate first if the first memory location the first memory location is allocated for m of zero with starting with a thousand let's take thousand memory allocation the memory address is thousand and the next starting address memory allocations next starting address would be thousand not four why it is because this stores four four bytes this whole memory stores four bytes. After four bytes, what is this next memory location first address? 104. Next, 108. This, 1012. This memory address, 1016. This memory address, 1020. But this memory address, 1024. This memory address, 1028. This memory address, 1032. This memory address, 10. So, sorry, likewise, and so on. 59 59 into so the 60 into 4 so that is how much it will be there 64 add of 64 to this so last memory address is 1064 uh, sorry 1064 will be the last address so maybe 1060 1060 so last address starting value is 1060 why because one zero four bytes will be taken each int by integer takes four bytes so each integer variable takes four bytes this integer is taking four bytes next integer taking four bytes next four bytes next four bytes likewise so that is an array is a collection of data values or data types of similar same type at one place or array is a collection of variables of collection of variables of similar data type of similar data type so this is called as array very simple array is a collection of data values of same type at one place or array is a collection of 
variables of same type or similar type similar type understood any doubts up to here Same the same storage class has applied to this also. Yeah, yes. Storage class has applied to same, same this also. Because this is also same variable types only, no? Yeah. Okay. So syntax for declaring arrays, syntax of arrays, what is syntax? First, data type, which type of data you want to be clear? That is, I said, not only integer, any type, a similar type, but all should be a similar type. All should be a similar type. All should be a similar type. Space. What is the array name? What is the name of array you want to choose? Name of array. This is an identifier. Open brace. This is the array braces. Braces. Remember this array braces. And size. How much size of variables you want to create? And semicolon. Remember this is a data type. Any type of data. So an integer, float, car, double. Any any data type. And array name. This is an identifier. Same identifier. Identifier, you can choose any name, a valid identifier. And the size, how much size of variables, that means how many variables you want to create. You give a size inside this array braces. Inside this array braces. These are called as square brackets. These are called as a square brackets. So these are called as array braces also, array brackets also. So we should give a size in terms of size inside of array braces. So example. int arr of 10. So I'm creating 10 integer variables, float, blue of 20. Here I'm creating 20 variables of float variables. You can create double avg of 15 variables, cap, st of 10. So this is again, it's a special type, special case. We'll discuss this in detail in later, but the it is also an array. Remember, it is also an array. But character array is a special type. Character array is a special case. Special case, we'll discuss that detail in later, but it is also called as an array. Remember, it is also called as array. So not excluded is an array, but character array is a special case. Character array is a special case. So this is about a declaration of arrays. Declaration of arrays. Done. Any doubts? Just data type, which data type you want to mention and valid data type and array name. It is an identifier, which array name you want to choose for your array. And what is the size, how much variable, how many variables you want to create a particular type. A particular type key, any variables create shell and put no size no mention child. That that size should be mentioned in the a square brackets, not in the rounded brackets, is a square brackets. These are called as array brackets or square brackets. So we have to mention in them in between the square brackets. This is about array declaration. Array declaration. Is it done? Yes, sir. Yes. So array types. Or else types of arrays.
types of arrays are single dimension arrays or else one dimensional arrays two dimensional arrays or 2d arrays and multi dimensional arrays or multi dimensional arrays multi dimensional arrays okay so we don't have 3d 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 arrays here in the c so so multi dimension we say it is a multi dimension but multi dimensions also we see in the Two dimension, three dimensions. Okay, so what is this uh, single dimension one D array, two dimensions two D array, and multi dimensions? And we have in the syllabus only these two. In the C programming language, we have these two one D arrays and two D arrays. We are going to discuss detail about one D arrays and two D arrays. Example programs on one D arrays, example programs on two D arrays. Okay, so we don't have in the syllabus multi dimension arrays. Okay, single dimension arrays, two dimension arrays, and multi dimension arrays. So one D array, two D array, uh, multi dimension array. So one D array. So what is one D array? Now this now we have discussed. One D array is like only one dimension, one dimension. So that is only size. One size will be there. That is one size of array will be there. And two D array, two D array, two dimensions. Two two sizes will be there. That is size one and size two will be there. That is first one is the row size, second one is column size. So we are going to mention in the both sides, column and row. Multi dimensions are multi sizes will be there. Multi dimensions will be there. Okay, we we are not going to discuss about that. But we have to uh, more uh, uh, to be discussed at one dimensions, two dimensions, two d two d and one d. So okay. So this is about the types of arrays. Three, there are three types of arrays: single dimension, two dimension. That is one dimension, two dimension, and multi-dimensional arrays. Multi-dimensional arrays. Array declaration and initialization. Array declaration and initialization. For being a simple city, simplicity, I'm going to take integer type and I'm going to take the low size, less size. So we can take higher size also. For understandability, I'm taking up minimum sizes to understandability. Don't think that sir, you're talking only five, five or four or six. Why not? We can take like hundred. So we can take. But for the simplicity and understandability. So I'm taking a lesser size and lower size. Okay. So declaration. So int a of pi. I'm taking the pi variables. This is a called as declaration. Declaration of array. So just I've declared the size. When I declare this, when I declare this, so there are five variables will be created. Five variables will be created. In the memory, memory, and each of integer size, that is int size, one one by one like one data, one variable take up int size, each type int size. And all the variables are created at one place with. Consecutive memory locations. That means they are, should be stored. They have to store at one place, and they are side by side. Okay, that is about that. And they are initialized. If at all it is local declaration, initialized with with garbage value. If it's a local declaration, the values are initialized with a garbage value. 
values are declared with the values are initialized with the garbage value. Okay, if at all, if I'm not in, if I'm not initialized, if I'm not writing any, uh, if I'm not writing any value, so claim value raya lega pote, if I'm not initializing any value to this, so the garbage value will be there. Once I declare it, only garbage value will be there inside the uh, allocation, memory allocations. And remember, this is called as index. The value which is called for a given variable is called as index. Okay, the value which is called as index. This value inside a variable which is stored, which are stored. So which is given here is called as index value. So we are going to represent, we are going to represent any variable that is any memory location, any memory location with a array name along with index value. So now what is the index value of this memory location? Zero. The index value of this memory location is one. The index value of this memory location is two. The index value of this memory location is three. The index value of this memory location is four. And remember the index every time, always index of array will start with zero we we'll start with a zero always will start with a zero so once i write any value any variable so the index value will start with a zero only not it not it with any variable not it with a, any variable and this one the memory allocation the memory the first variable so the first variable this is called as the base variable the first variable and the address and the address if I'm writing this is thousand started with thousand and this address will be started with Remember, thousand and last one or thousand inches start out for simplicity. For simplicity, it will be started with any hexadecimal number, hexadecimal value. It will be there in the hexadecimal value for understandability. For simplicity, I am writing an address with a thousand. The easy understandability, easy thing. So I am writing with a thousand. Okay. And next address will be thousand four. And next address will be thousand uh, eight. Next address will be thousand twelve. Next address will be 1016 starting address. Remember, these are starting addresses. The starting address of this variable, 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 and the starting address of this variable. Okay, so starting address is 1000 and ending address will be 1003. 1003. Okay, so but I'm not mentioning here 1003. And this address, the first variable address, the variable which is created. The first variable address which is created, this is called as base address. This is called as base address. First variable address is called as base address. First variable that is created that is called as base address. And the base value, the base value is a of zero. The base value is a of zero. Okay, this address, the base address will be stored in the, will be stored in the name of array. Will be stored in the name of array. What is the name of array? A. Therefore, what is the A? 
a is a base address so if at all if i'm writing ampersand of a of 0 is both are equivalent to a so what is ampersand of a0 address of a of 0 address of a of 0 is first a of 0 is this variable the address of this variable is 1000 the same way the same way a also represents that a is what here name of array remember what is a here name of array name of array so name of array a is also same stores same thing that is base address the both are called as base addresses so we have a much much importance of base address here that's the reason i'm specifying what is base address so base address base and address and chala chala importance on this so therefore i'm specifying a base address remember okay so we have a future classes we are going to take everything by using base address so what is an advantage of array remember here if i know the base address i can easily redirect and go to the next value easily so that is an advantage of base address where the base address will be stored the base address will be stored in the name of array or address of first variable the first variable is called as address of variable first variable is base address or name of array stores the base address okay now this is about the declaration any doubts up to here any doubts up to here sir i didn't get base address didn't get base address i just said any all the variables these are the variables for example for 10 variables then variable and for example so the array started somewhere in the program somewhere in the memory and all the array variables are uh, stored in the memory with conjugate memory location where this memory of first array variable started with a some memory address called 2002 sorry, 2002 for time being i'm telling 2002 this memory address has started with 2002 what is if it is if it is like let's take these are integer type of variables x of uh, 20 variables i'm storing so let's take 2002 what is this next variable address will be 2006 is that right yes next 2000 uh it is 4 10 2010 like that it goes on and the where this array has been started where then where this array has been started array memory location has been started where it has been started from using a first address this is 202002 it's a base address this is called as base address this is called as base address but where this base address will be stored ante manaku ela teliyali ad ekkada store ayindi ekkada store undi ekkada undi ekkada nunchi start ayindani teliyali ankosam we are going to use a representation of a what is a? sorry representation of x here what is x here x is the name of a okay the base address will be stored inside of a name of a okay remember why we need to know because where the array has been started ekkada nunchi start memory lo ekkada nunchi start avutundi are the occurrence starting somewhere where it has been started so if you know the base address first address i can know easily the second address third address four address next address easily all the variables until the last variable because i can increment directly to the uh integer size so 2002 plus 4 what is 2006 next next address, next variable address next plus 4 next uh, 2010 next variable address 2014 next variable address 2018 uh, next variable address I can know easily so that is the advantage of base address so where the, what is the base address is where the where from where the uh, array has been started where the allocation memory allocation of array has been started is called as base address so that base address will be stored in the name of array so sir in if in a scanf statement we write percentile d then i'm present a where will mm -hmm. that uh, percentile d go and get stored okay uh, for example, I'm declaring int a variable. I'm going to write scan f ampersand, sorry, percentile d ampersand a. Okay. Uh, this is what is the statement? You said that. So when one when I'm uh, declaring variable called a, so it will have some variable address, some address, some x address, some 
That is first variable address. To know second variable address, ampersand of x of one. Third variable, third variable address, ampersand of x of two. Likewise, all the variables have its own address. Same. So all are this. But, but the only the base address, only the base address, will be stored in the x I'm telling. Ante, if the normal gun will achieve, what is that? What is the variables you have created? For example, int you have created int a, b, c, three variables. Likewise, you are going to use ampersand a, you are going to use ampersand b, you are going to use ampersand c. Likewise, same way, you are going to use ampersand x of zero, ampersand x of one, ampersand of x of two, ampersand of x of three, and so on. And what are the variables you have created? That is the same way to store the value. You are going to use same and address addresses and ampersand you are going to use. That represents address of particular variable called x of zero. The represent of particular variable x of one. Address address of particular particular variable x of two. Likewise, so what is this? If I'm writing address of x of zero, what is the value here? What is two thousand two? I'm present x of one two thousand six. I'm present of x of two two thousand ten. Likewise, the only the special case is here. It is the base address, first address. Actually, what is two thousand two will be stored as as well as in the x also. That is what I'm trying to tell. And then the x lo kuda name of the variable name of the array lo kuda. If base address is stored out on the, or index stored out, na the index stored out na ante where x is the internal pointer variable. Where x is the internal pointer variable because of that, it stores the first address, the base address. That's it. Okay, sir. Hmm. Any doubts so and so far? So, sir, these arrays are used to compress our work, right? Yes, compress. That means uh, if at all if you have uh, uh, variables of same type of variables, or you are going to store many values to be stored, you are going to compress to be worked. Okay. Yes. Okay, so sir, in scanf also, then we we don't we have to write uh, like separately for all those uh, memory locations, like scanf percent ld and percent a one is a zero and then a one. Yes. Uh, we'll we'll discuss that in the next. You can class. use a loop. Wait, 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 wait. We are going to use that. We are going to discuss that in the next class. First, first, let's let's see. <laughs> you are very eager to know. Yes, yes. Uh, that's very good question. So we'll discuss that uh, next next class next after this. Din taravada manu next chare discuss system. So very good question. Okay. So, okay. So any other any questions in this in this part? If we cut another angle, we will discuss just another one questions. Okay. Sir, every time the next address will be base address plus four, sir. Plus four and kado based upon your data type. प्रोग्राम अंडे फंक्शंस की राशन आता है फंक्शन डिक्लेरेशन नो वेरी बट फॉर एग्जांपल ओके नेश वेरी डिक्लेर 
can take our main main in the main where you required these variables the variables ekkada declare ekkada require untundundo where you required these variables you are going to declare in that in the same way whether you required how the behavior of normal variables are there same will be the behavior of your array variables also but it has a extra qualification that all the variables are created with the same name called a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 that is sorry a of 2 and so on a of 9 but but they are all stored at consecutive memory locations but these may not or may or may not be stored at consecutive memory locations that is only the difference what is the uh, what is the like uh, property of these variables are there same property will be there for this variables the only the difference is the names are created there are different names for each variable and here the names are created with along the name of the array along with the index value name of the array with along with index value to its name and they are all stored at consecutive memory locations that is only the difference but here they may or may not remember they may or may not i'm telling may or may not stored at consecutive memory location but they are definitely stored they are definitely stored consecutive memory locations that is only the difference so every property of variable will be same as this both okay you want to where you want to use that variable you declare that if you need that in the inside of a function you declare inside of a function you need outside the function like somewhere in the program you declare outside the function based upon your requirement you declare it good question yes understood yes sir yes any others okay so now so this is about we have discussed about the declaration so now initialization so what is the declaration once i write int a equal to int a this is the declaration that means memory allocation will be done with a name called a if it is a local variable garbage value will be there it is a global variable some variable will be initialized with a z same this is called declaration same as a declaration here int x of 5 if i'm declaring this so same uh, variables will be uh, allocated in the memory there is five variables will be allocated in the memory uh, this is x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 and x of 4 five variables now if i want to assign the value i can assign the value here itself or else i can assign somewhere by using a equal to 10 so if i am assigning a value a equal to 10 10 will be stored here but how to assign the value here to array variables so that is directly writing equal to open brace open brace and write the variables write the variable values in the order in the order i am telling in the order means first variable value entity put all first variable value 10 write that what is the second variable value 20 third variable value 40 fourth variable value 50 sixth variable value 30 sorry fifth variable value 30 that's it so this is one of the way to initialize your variables one of the way to initialize your array variables sir you can ask same question sir if i'm writing here 50 is that right i should write 50 weight values yes you have to write 50 value sir it is becoming a same sir then how we have other way of initialization other way of uh, initialization that is dynamic initialization but the short of form if you want to use the only the lesser values you can use this initialization this initialization okay this is a one way of initialization another way so i am initializing only th three variables what it will become 
what happens here what happens here what happens here the first three variables the first three variables get the memory allocation values and the remaining two will be two will be what garbage values or uh, some any other value sir zero value garbage value no a zero they will be initialized to zero if at all at least one variable is initialized in the array at least i'm telling at least one variable is initialized with the value value the remaining all the values will be zeros all the values will be zeros okay this is one way. okay so that means what happens in the memory in the memory Zero, one, two, three, and four. I'm not writing x here. So ten, twenty, thirty, and remaining zero, zero. Another way of initialization. I'm writing one, two, three, four, five, six. Does we get any error here? I have created only five memory locations, and I am assigning six variables. What happens? Does it gets any error? Or if it not getting any error, what happens? Any guesses? I am asking guessing only. Sir, so error. 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 Maybe only five values may be represented. Okay, so one is error. Any ones in the class? Want to answer it? Compiler error. Compiler error. Okay. Any other? It will ignore class? six, sir. Sorry. It will error. ignore the sixth one. Yes, sir. Ignore the sixth one. Okay. And any others? Any other answers? Yes. Correct answer is ignore. Sir, it only gives us sir. sir. Sorry, someone is like making noise. Okay, so it ignores the six value. It ignores the sir, sir. Excuse me. Oh yeah. Sir, it only take one, two, three, four values and the last one twelve character will be. Oh yes, yes. That is only I am telling. You. Only it take four values. Only five values will be taken in the form. As I have given five types. Please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. Okay. So, as I given a size five, only first five values will be taken into account, and the sixth value, the last value, will be discarded. After the given size, if you give any other values, how many values you given, that will always be be discarded. Only the remain the first size. What is the first? For example, if I given five, the first five will be considered as a variable values. The remaining all, if you give hundred values also, the hundred values will be discarded. Only the first five will be taken into account. Now, what is the values inside this variable? Is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and five. The six will be discarded. So writing six, seven, ten. How many I'm writing after the given size? All will be discarded. It will not be. It will not be giving any error. It will not be giving any compiler errors. Okay, in the initialization. Okay, so it only takes the first five values. It only takes the First five values. Okay, next, sir. Tell me, sir. If we give the size as sixty uh, uh, or seventy, uh, should we write all these uh, up to sixty or seventy values? Yes, that's what I said. Uh, we should write initialization. We should write, but we have an, another alternative method also. I'll tell you in the next. Okay. Yes, we should write sixty. We should write sixty variable values here in this. Uh, if you want to initialize here only, but we have other alternative method to do that. Okay. So we are discussing about initialization. That's the reason I'm telling about initialization. After that, I'll tell you what is this alternative method. Okay. Sir. Sir. Acha prana. What if I if I want to initialize only fifth value, leaving all four before values? Sorry. Then in fifth value, you should initialize all and counter. Now, sir, I am not doing that. Fifth value, you should initialize all. Now, zero is valid. 
you give all our zeros and give five. Just to declare this in next line, lo x. Here, uh, ante here and open it. Four equal to. Okay, ah, no, no, then wait, wait, wait. We have other method. We have other method to give a single, single variable at a time. That is, x of fifth variable got x of four is equal to five. You can directly give the value. What is x of four? X of four and end the fifth variable. So you can give fifth variable is equal to five. That's okay. a good question. So direct ka, if at all, if you want to give single variable, single variable at a time, the values x of zero is equal to one, you can give x of x of one equal to two, we can give x of two equal to three, you can give x of three equal to 50, you can give x of four equal to five, you can give. So this is how you can give single variable at a time. And a single variable value initialize on key. Okay, single variable value initialize step to leverage. You cannot give x of 5 equal to some 10 because you are already given a size x of 5. So this will be will not be taken into account. You'll be getting error, compiler error that. So size you have initialized only 5, but you're giving x of 5 equal to 10. The array will not, will not be taken. So here we'll be getting a compiler error. But in the installation, in the installation, we'll not be getting any error. When you try to do this, we'll be getting error. So in the in the Java you're getting in the Java or C plus plus you'll be getting uh, that is in Java you'll be getting array out of bound error. This is called as exception. 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 Array out of bound error exception we are going to get in the Java. Or so, but here in the C, we are not going to get, we don't have exceptions in C. We're going to get an error, compiler error that's saying that array, array exceeded its value. So you're going to give that. So it is cannot be taken into account. An error also. But in initialization, first value will be taken into account and the remaining all uh, that is remaining value will be discarded. So this is where how to initialize a single variable value at, at a time, single variable value at a time. Question very good. Hmm. Okay, next. So I'm asking the question uh, this one. So whether this will be valid or not in X of is equal to one, two, three, four, five. I'm not given any size, but I'm, I'm I'm writing X of bracket is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Do I get any errors or else? No errors, sir. No errors. Why no errors? It will automatically take the size. Yes. So size will be how much, how many variables you declare, how many variables you initialize here. That size will be initialized here automatically by a compiler. The size, remember, this is only possible. The size without size giving any array, without size declaration is possible only in the initialization. Remember, only in the initialization. You cannot write in the declaration X of something. You take your wish. You will get an error. But this is possible. This is only the possible in the, in the arrays. If you cannot mention of size also, but if you initialize the values, that many values, how many values you give, that size will be taken as in count that size will be taken as in count by the compiler. In this case, you can give any number of values, that number of values you can exceed and exceed any values, any values is the any value size and the values is now on the size and indirect that will be taken as indirectly as outside. So therefore, the declaration of size. So uh, if you're not declaring a size is okay. If you initialize the values there only, if you initialize the values there only itself in the RX. This is one of the initialization. How to set it to like uh, have the length of the first input that goes into it? Sorry, I didn't get you. How to make it have the size of the first input that goes into it? 
yes the first first value will be going to first input second value will be going to second input like that no like if we declare an empty variable and we take take input from the user we cannot do that remember we cannot do that only we can empty size only in the initialization direct initialization this is i'm telling that's the reason i'm telling you cannot do this directly declare it and take from the user idi cheyale wo you cannot do that you can do only empty size you initialize there only you initialize the values there only you can do this way ikkade maatrame cheyagalo ante that means you can empty the size only the case you initialize the values here only declaration and initialization done at one place both should be done in one place declaration separately and initialization separately cannot be done if you if you are if you are doing empty size that means in the first first situation only the first line only you will get you will be getting error that you, you how to error. make it variable size how to make it variable size variable size i'll tell you that variable size in the next later but arrays cannot be cannot be variable its size and the size in once you declare a size and in the x of 5 and declare just a five size ni i cannot increase size in middle i cannot decrease the size in middle a size unnadu unnati use cheskovali that means you have to use that size you cannot increase in the middle or you cannot decrease in the middle okay that is a one of the disadvantage of arrays the size is static remember size is static in the arrays one of the biggest disadvantage is size is static once the size is allocated the size is fixed that size is fixed you cannot increase the size you cannot decrease the size you can do one one uh, like uh, uh, technical uh, like uh, then the alternative method uh, that is possible only c99 that is possible only in c99 remember adela cheyali ante you declare int n and read value of n and after reading value you declare int x of n ante nenu ipudu a size isthavo n value aa size ki array value ani declare create avu remember this is possible only c99 ante enduku ala cheptunanu because the declaration only declaration ante any variable can be declared only in any 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 place anedi ekkada eppudu ostundi ante c99 lo maatrame cheyochu that means variable declaration should be done in the beginning only in the c actually that is a rule but after c99 it has been discarded that means you can declare a variable any place in the program if that is acceptable acceptable first you declare any variable n variable after that read the values of n and declare a size so based upon your size the output size you are given out on the output screen you are given that will be taken as a size but we have alternative alternative for arrays that is dynamic memory allocation functions in c dynamic memory for allocation functions in c by that we can alter we can alter the size we can increase or we can variable our size we can increase or decrease your size alk answer are alk sorry alk alk answer sir yes yes all function malak calac realloc and free these are the dynamic memory allocations and these will be discussed in the using a pointers because they will be done by using only pointers pointers to matrame cheyochu kabatti pointers vachin tarvata discuss cheyadam okay na okay. is it right yes yes so so this is here this is only possible remember the size empty size is possible where you declare as well as initialize at one place remember you have to declare and as well as initialize here only you have to initialize this is possible this is possible only initialize and declare this is about initialization of your 
Rx. Initialization of your Rx. This is about single value initialization. This is multiple values at a time. And as we ask the question, sir, if at all, if you have int x of 60, I should give a 60 variables here itself. Yes, you have to give 60 variables here itself. We have we have alternative, we have alternative to this by by using a scan of instead of using initial initialization, we can replace that by using a scan of statement. How we are going to write? That is, if I want to use one variable x of zero to be read it into 10, that can be directly done scan of single variable. That is ampersand percent ampersand ampersand x of zero. The second variable x of one, third variable x of two, fourth variable x of three, fourth, fifth variable x of four, like that. If you want to read that, so same thing scan f percentile d ampersand x of one and scan f percentile d ampersand x of two, Five. and so on, scan f percentile d ampersand x of 59 sir is that becoming again a same statement yes alane outundi yes i have to write all over 60 statement to read a 60 values then what is the what is the alternative for this what is the uh, like we, uh, a replacement of we can replace this all 60 statement into two statements ela change who what, uh, what is the, what is i can do see here what is changing here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to where 59 is changing. So I can replace, I can replace this. So everything is same apart from this scan of percentility ampersand x of 0, scan of percentility ampersand x of 1, scan of percentility ampersand x of 2, scan of percentility ampersand x of 3, and so on. 59. So we are only the changing the value here. And then the value and the iterate out. And the iterate out and enroll you just go to. For loop, for, loop. Go to. for I should be started with where zero. Yes, zero. And where it should be ended? 60. So therefore, less I'm writing 60. 60, less than 60. So 59 work I put. I plus plus it has to be incremented each one value, one time. Scan up. Percent LD. Ampersand. X of I instead of that variable, X of I. So first I value will become zero. Yes, x of 0. I value will become 1, x of 1. I value will become 2, x of 2. I value become 3, x of 3. And so on. I value becomes 59, x of 59. I value becomes 60. So 60 less than 60. This will be false. So we'd come out of the block. Therefore, it starts with a scan of percent LD x of 0 to scan of percent LD x of 59. So we have replaced the statement, reading statement. This is called as dynamic values reading. Dynamic values reading. Because we are going to read dynamically, we are going to change our values. But when once one, whenever we write like this, one, two, three, four, five. So these values are same for every program. Every time I execute this particular program. But here I can change myself i can dynamically change myself on the output screen okay this is a one of the way for reading for i equal to zero i less than 60 i plus plus kind of percent ld ampersand x of i <laughs> then how to input on the mister me me values but me values but if we like uh, test case if we are making test cases how how do we like uh, make test cases sir? make test cases so that means i didn't get you like for this uh, particular array this should be the answer we know uh. how to verify that like repeatedly when we test our code we have to make changes no sir every time but for this for this code, okay, but we have to read the value 60. But some other programs, every time you are not going to not going to use only 60 variables, are not going to use from the output screen only, no? 
we have a out input from some other sources not only from the one source we are going to give and the theoretically this is impossible so sorry practically this is impossible to give a 60 values to be sitting on the same screen and giving 60 values but we can read 60 values and we can read 500 values or uh, how many values you want to read but as per the requirement how many values you are going to read that you are going to decide later this is only the what uh, 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 is a basic statement how we want to read it just uh, it is a basic statement but every time 60 variables read just the rule in the case studies case 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 uh, case case uh, test case you have to sit and see whether it is reading or not and check check but uh, we have a simple case here but theoretically that is the case but we have in the in the industry we have some other testing tools separately for this so alan de chedan testing tools are separate ga unnai we have but to test manually but we have to test sit, sit and test test each and every statement like in bash shell we can use like uh, uh, piping no sir to what? Like repeatedly say use send in the same test case Yes, yes, but okay. So we one more discuss here. Then, Nana, we manam we are going out of topics. Chala out of topics. Kill both now. No, what are your questions? Ki chala out of kill both. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. So this is a statement we have to write to write a scanf. That is scanf statement has to be written. So using a for loop to read the values. So in two minutes, seven the connection. I am not getting. Okay. So that means if at all, if I'm having int x of five to read these five variables, I'm going to write for i equal to zero, i less than four, sorry, i less than r equal to four, i less than five, five, sorry. I less than phi, I plus plus. Open brace and scan of percentile D ampersand X of I. Semicolon close. So this is the statement to read five variables at a time. So you can customize your variables. You want to read a one variable, two variables, three variables. So based upon your customization, you can customize. Only if you want to read second variable to third variable, you write here two, you write here four. So our variable are great challenge. Okay. Right. So you can customize your for loop based upon your requirement how many variables you want to read it. Okay. But uh, the starting uh, variables will be started from zero to the n minus one. So what are the variable names will be started from? 0 to n minus 1. The name of uh, array index, remember, array index will start with the 0 to n minus 1, where n is the size of array. Size of array. So, okay. Uh, and how to print the values? Print challenge, tell a print challenge. Normally, print challenge is just some print a first variable print challenge x of 0. Second variable print challenge print a percentile d x of 1 and so on like that we are going to do that same thing so what is the replacement so same you can replace this for i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus and open brace print f percentile d x of i Okay, so this is to read the array values. And this is to print the array values. So for this, we have an alternative. For reading, we have alternative. That is, we can initialize the values there only. But for printing, we don't have alternative. So compulsory, we should use a for loop because any variable values print share and the pratyoka raspunt volatile custom author. 
అంటే నేను ఫైవ్ వాల్యూస్ రాయాలని ఫైవ్ వాల్యూస్ ప్రింట్ చేయాలన్నా కష్టం సో దట్ ఈస్ వీ హ్యావ్ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ అల్టర్నేటివ్ సో ఫర్ లోక్ యూజ్ చేయడమే బెటర్ లేదా అంటే ఫర్ నార్మల్ ఆరేస్ వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ఫర్ స్ట్రింగ్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఓకే సో ఫర్ ఐ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఐ లెస్ దెన్ ఫైవ్ ఐ ప్లస్ ప్లస్ ప్రింట్ ఎఫ్ పర్సెంటాలి ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐ సో ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు రైట్ ఎ సింపుల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ టు రీడ్ ఆర్ ఏ వాల్యూస్ అండ్ టు ప్రింట్ ఆర్ ఏ వాల్యూ జస్ట్ వాచ్ ఇట్ ఓకే if at all if you want to apply only one variable one statement per for loop no need to compulsory open brace and close brace so i'm writing slash t to make out okay so this is my program i'm saving it sir hmm chapna i can't see the screen sir i mean can't see ah okay chudatledu meeru chudle kanapadatledu ah ప్రోగ్రామ్ రోట్ హియర్ సో ఇన్ టెక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫైవ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ అండ్ ఇన్ ఐ సో ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ఏ వాల్యూస్ ఆర్ సో ఫర్ ఐ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఐ లెస్ ఫైవ్ ఐ ప్లస్ ప్లస్ and uh, i compiled it so successful compilation so so values are the array values are 1 2 3 4 5 so let's see let's see so if i'm giving one value extra some some other value what is the output i'm going to get so here it's warning it is giving exceeds excess the elements in the array but it is going to compile it is going to compile and giving what is the values it is giving 1 2 3 4 5 only 5 up to 5 so same thing if i'm if i'm writing here i'm not writing here size and i'm going to print it what is the size i'm going to print 4 only because 5 only because i've given here 5 so but i have to give manually here 7 so is that right 1 2 3 4 5 334 45 okay so next uh we'll see so without initializing and without giving any values i'm uh, trying to do that so it is here only giving array size is missing x so it is it can be empty only if you give initialize the values there only it will not be accepting okay 
seven and I'm reading from the dynamically. So how I'm going to read dynamically. So printf, I'm giving a message to user. Enter array values. Sorry. For i equal to zero, i less than seven. I plus plus sir if we try to print uh, just the array name then it will then it's showing uh, memory address yes only i said it's base address first address will be printed first address will be if you're, if you're printing both x of zero as well as x of uh, one this is going to print both values are same Okay, bye. So this is a reading, reading my values and printing them. So, so it is asking to enter the array values. Asking to enter the array values. So I'm entering uh, seven values. That is six space, four space, sorry, two. Three, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, nine, seven, eight. Okay. So the array values are six, four, two, three, six, seven, eight. So what is in the order which I have given? In that order, same order it has been taken. Okay. So same thing. He said that like uh, if at all if I'm printing the uh, address, what it will be printed? Uh, so here. I'm writing here uh, after reading. Okay. See here, what is going to print here? The same address. So 00000062 FE00. 00000062 FE00. What is this? The base address where X stores the same address and whereas ampersand of X of zero stores the same address. So where the first address has been started. If you want to see all the addresses, you can print. I'm printing the second address. What will be the second address? Centile P. Here. So what is this? Zero zero. After that, zero zero four. First zero zero. F E zero zero. After that, F E zero zero four. So if I'm going to print the next address, here zero zero. Eight. So how much how much difference is there between these four difference? Because it is integer type. Because it is integer type. Okay, is that right? So we'll discuss next in the later classes. So we are running out of time. Okay. So give your attendance already logged with the numbers. Okay. Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 83, 82, 